Hello players, are you tired of feeling like you're stuck in the slow lane on your home network? Well, even if you have blazing fast internet speed, your home network could still be crawling at a snail's pace. So, what's holding you back? Today's video is sponsored by FS.com, the experts in fast networking and wireless equipment for enterprise home labs and home networking. Check them out with the link in the video description. First, let's define what we mean by Bandwidth. Bandwidth is the maximum amount of data that can be transferred over a network in a given amount of time. This is measured in bits per second, is often represented as Mbps or Gbps for megabits or gigabits per second. But just having a high bandwidth connection doesn't guarantee that you'll get the speed that you need or deserve. <laughs> you might have bottlenecks slowing things down. A bottleneck is like a traffic jam on your network where the data flow is slowed down or even stopped in some cases. Think of it like a frustrating rush hour commute but for your data. A common issue is having multiple devices being connected to something like a NAS or other large amount of storage with a slow cable and having to share bandwidth. Let me explain. Here is your big powerful NAS or network storage and here are a bunch of other devices accessing that NAS at the same time through a switch. This is the S3950-4T12S, a 10 gigabit switch from fs.com. All of these devices have gigabit ports. Now if you connect the NAS to the switch with a gigabit connection, all of these devices have to share this single gigabit connection. If you swap out that, that one gigabit connection for a 10 gigabit connection, now all of these devices can connect at full gigabit each for up to 10 devices before any slowdown provided your NAS has fast enough drives, of course. And it's the same issue if you put a slower switch between these devices. However, if these devices are not all being used at the same time or only using a small amount of bandwidth each, everything will be fine. The one gigabit or 10 gigabit link is for all devices combined and the switch will share out the bandwidth. You can do things like QoS, which is quality of service, which can help prioritize certain network traffic over others. So you can stream your favorite show or video conference without lag while your downloads take a back seat. It's like giving VIP treatment to your most important network traffic, or you can do it the other way around and give low priority to downloads of web traffic or both. This is usually set in your router or managed switch like this one. If you're connecting two or more switches together with demanding devices on both ends, it's important to have the fastest link possible between the two switches. This switch uses SFP plus ports for 10 gigabit. I've made a full video about that and the SFP plus ports, which will be linked at the end of this video. Of course, there's also the physical layout of your home. If you have a large house with multiple floors, you may need to invest in additional network switches or a Wi-Fi mesh system. We'll get into that in a minute to ensure that you have a good signal throughput throughout your home. Running cables is going to provide you with the fastest and most stable connection, like using CAT6A for 10 gigabit, which can be terminated to SPF Plus on the other side, is a good choice for most runs. But what about the internet speeds that you're paying for? Surely that makes a big impact on your network speed, right? Well, yes and no. Your internet speed certainly has an impact on how quickly you can download or upload files or, or stream videos, but it doesn't necessarily impact the speed of your local network. Local network speed is about devices being able to talk to each other or how quickly they can talk to the router. So if you're experiencing slow network speed, it's important to focus on the factors that are within your control, such as upgrading your hardware, optimizing your network layout, and using tools like QoS to prioritize data. Another factor that can impact your local network speed is interference from other devices, particularly common with Wi-Fi networks. As we mentioned earlier, running cables is always best, but if that's not feasible, consider investing in a Wi-Fi mesh system to get rid of those pesky dead spots and slow speeds. A Wi-Fi mesh system is a network of access points that work together to provide seamless coverage throughout your home, which is the main benefit of a mesh system and its ability to eliminate dead spots in your house. With traditional routers, you may experience areas where the signal is weak or non-existent, but with a mesh system, it uses multiple access points to provide a strong coverage in every corner, provided that you lay them out correctly. Another benefit of a Wi-Fi mesh system is its ability to handle multiple devices at once. And for the best coverage and stability, it's a good idea to run what's called Ethernet backcall back to the access points. That's where you run a cable from the router or the switch to the access point, and it communicates 
through the network that way, rather than trying to communicate with other access points. FS.com offers a range of Wi-Fi mesh systems and other networking equipment that can improve your local network speed. Finally, it's important to keep in mind that network speed is not the only factor that impacts your experience. Factors like latency and packet loss can also impact your network, and that's why it's important to invest in decent networking equipment. If this helped, there's all the buttons to press. <laughs> if you have any tips to share yourself, pop them in the comments below so that future people who are watching this can, can benefit from your knowledge. So thanks for watching this one and thanks to our sponsor, fs.com. So until next time, be excellent to each other and keep playing.